Have you guys ever dabbled in tilt shift video? It's a pretty cool thing. Today we're gonna learn how to do that and this is what we're gonna end up with. Stick around if you wanna learn how to do it. What is up, gang? It's been a little while, but nevertheless, we are back. It's Wednesday and we've got an awesome tutorial planned for today. So in order to achieve this look, traditionally you have to go out and buy a tilt shift lens and they are pretty expensive. But today we can use our editing software to mimic that look. Now a tilt shift lens basically just kind of mimics the look of a really shallow depth of field. And between that blur and that focus, things tend to look miniature. It's a really, really cool effect. And it's something that I've seen a lot more in television shows and documentaries and really cool things lately. Um, so I wanted to show you guys how you can do it. And it's pretty easy. So let's go ahead and we're gonna dive into Adobe Premiere Pro and I'll show you guys how it's done. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are inside of Premiere Pro and what we're going to do is build this. Fun, right? It's like a little miniature city. It's awesome. I love it. It's so cute. But yes, here we are. I mean, you can see how this works. Um, you know, you've got your blur in certain areas. You've got your sharp focus in other areas. Um, you know, if I can bring your attention to this little air conditioning unit right here, you can see that, I mean, these. this looks tiny. This looks miniature. Um, it's a really cool effect, and I think that uh, you, guys will, you guys will dig it. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys how we can achieve this look. First, what we want to do is go ahead into our source clip here. There it is. And what we're going to do is just take our video clip. We're going to drag it down to our little page icon here. And we're going to drop it on there. And it will give us a brand new sequence with perfect settings. Now, there are tons of different ways to do this. You can go ahead and alt drag, copy your footage on top of one another and put a mask on the top layer. But what we're gonna do is just go ahead and we're gonna create what is called an adjustment layer. And we're gonna take that, we're gonna drag it right over top of our footage, right out over top of everything. So you'll notice that if we toggle the view on and off, nothing's happening. Nothing is going on here with uh, the adjustment layer yet because that's where we're going to put our effects. Uh, me personally, I like to add multiple adjustment layers to add, you know, different effects. I like to keep my color on one adjustment layer. I like to keep, you know, my masks on another. So what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to go up into the effect controls of this adjustment layer and we are going to, where is it at? Okay, opacity. We're going to go down here and these are the masks available to us inside of Premiere Pro. We have an ellipse, a square, and a pen. Now, there is an easy way to do all of this. You can just take an ellipse. You can, you know, put it right over your point of interest right there. Uh, let's go down in here to effects. We're going to get our Gaussian blur, drop it on our adjustment layer. And you'll notice that nothing happened. Well, that is because we do not have the blur set up yet. So if I take this way, way too blurry, you can see where our mask is. And you'll notice that it's opposite what we need. Uh, we need all of this stuff to be blurry, not so much the point of interest. So we're gonna go up here into our effect controls and we're gonna hit inverted. And that is gonna give us what we need. So this is way too much. This is terrible looking. So I like to go in and do this at first because then I can see up here in my mask settings when I feather it or when I expand it, I can see what I'm doing. 
So you'll notice right there I'm making this, I'm feathering this out and making this edge soft. And I'm going to expand the mask a tiny bit to soften it out even a little bit more. And then I'm going to go down here to our Gaussian blur. I'm going to take our blurriness level down and down and down and down until right about there. We see something like that. Um, we're going to come down here and we're going to hit repeat edge pixels. So then that way all the pixels stretch out to the uh, end of the screen. You can see when I toggle that, the difference. Um, so here is our, here's a base. Okay. So we've got our little, we've got our base. Um, I'm not a big fan of the ellipse mask. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you how I made the example I showed you. We're going to go into the mask and we're going to use the pen tool. And what I'm going to do is create a custom mask. And what I want to do is kind of just outline the road where all the cars are going to be because that's really what I want to look miniature. Um, in the example, I have it way out here. I'm actually just going to try it to there. Um, ooh. No idea what just happened there. Oh, I rotated it. So I'm going to continue putting my points with the mask there. I keep rotating it by accident. All right. So we have this little uh, shape right here. This is just basically the road and all the things that I want to look miniature. Um, so we're going to go ahead again. We're going to hit invert. And it's going to blur out the things that uh, are away from our point of interest. So what we can do is go ahead and just kind of feather this a little bit to smooth it out. We don't want any kind of, uh, we don't want lines that make this look unrealistic. And we're going to expand our mask a little bit to get maybe the edges of the buildings and things like that. All right. So here we are. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, it's very cool. As you can see, you know, this these look like little miniature trees, miniature cars. There's a little miniature person. Um, you know, if you add little bits of detail, you know, to the masks, like you know, maybe this this air conditioning unit, for instance, or these trees and bushes, um, you know, maybe these stoplights, corners of buildings and things like that. It really does mimic the shallow depth of field that a tilt shift lens does in, in real life. So we are not done yet. Um, to really kind of make this effect come to life, we're going to speed up this footage just a tiny bit because that's kind of what makes this really seem like it's it's a miniature little city. Um, so we're going to boost this to 150. And we'll drag our adjustment layer back. And that way, you know, things are moving just a tiny little bit faster than they would in real life. Which kind of adds to the whole idea of them being, you know, toys or a miniature model or something like that. Um, so we're all good right there. We've got our mask, we've got our footage, and we're sped up a little bit. We're going to go back to uh, the Tilt Shift video project window, and we're going to take another adjustment layer, and we're going to stretch that out. Let's go ahead, and this is where we're going to add some color. Um, I shot this with my drone and as you can tell, it's really kind of flat. Like these greens really aren't too far off from, you know, these browns or the grays. So what we need to do is really kind of make our footage look awesome. 
So this is where I add color. Um, let's go ahead into our basic corrections. I'm going to add some contrast just to really kind of make everything start to pop. And I'm going to bring those blacks down a tiny bit. Let's go ahead into our creative window. And I'm going to sharpen this footage a tiny bit. And since we have it masked out here and blurred, this is really what becomes sharp. And this is what we want to happen, is this separation between everything. Um, and one more thing, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I choose to do it because I think it adds to the effect, but I'm gonna add a vignette to this. And let me tell you a little something about vignettes. Uh, vignettes, the more subtle they are, um, the more respected they are. Um, you certainly don't want to go and throw something like that on a photo or a, or a chunk of video because it, it really just looks awful. Um, you know, what I've, what I've what I always heard or said, a, a good saying is that uh, subtlety is the art of editing um, or editing is the art of subtlety, however you want to put it. Um, but basically what this vignette is going to do and even I think that's a little too much. Uh, so what this vignette is going to do is really draw our attention or your viewer's attention to our focal point right here, which is uh, this, uh, this intersection. So let's go ahead. We're going to render it, and we'll take a look with the speed, the color, and the vignette adjustments. There it is. As you can see, everything is just a little more, a little more embellished. Uh, the speed is a little, little faster. The colors are a little deeper and darker and richer. You know, the, the, the focus and the, uh, the blurriness and the focus are, are very contrasted. Everything looks really, really cool. And, uh, it really does look like a, a miniature. Uh, model of some sort, but this is how you create a little miniature city and the tilt shift effect. All right, guys, I know that this was a longer video than normal, but if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, do all that great stuff and come back for more every Monday and Wednesday and sometimes Friday. We'll see you later.